Hey, second graders, this is Mrs. Daniel in, from Citizenship Academy, and today we're going to be looking at equal groups and repeated addition, and we're going to be looking at how we can use doubles with our repeated addition. So, here we go. Now, right here we have four groups of four. So we have four, 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 four in each group. And so one addition sentence could be four plus four plus four plus four. But we can put these fours together as a doubles fact to give us eight. And then we have another four plus four to give us eight here. And then we can use our doubles fact to say four, eight plus eight equals 16. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Let's look at another one. So if you guys want to follow along, you can get a piece of paper and a pencil, or you can use a whiteboard and markers. Um, and I want you to draw a group of five circles. So draw five circles. And then I like to put a circle around my group so I make sure I don't get confused about which circles are in which groups. And then we're gonna draw another group of five. And another group of five. And while you're doing this, think about what our repeated addition sentence is gonna look like. Another group of five. So right now you should have four groups of five. Now let's see what our addition sentence is going to look like. This one I get to do with you guys. Okay. So I've got my four groups of five, 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 and five. And I drew a line under each group because this is where I'm going to write my repeated addition. So I have how many in this group? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to write a five. Plus how many in this group? Five. Plus how many are in the next group? One, two, three, four, five. Plus how many are in my next group? Five. So we have five plus five plus five plus five. Now, there's a couple ways that we could add this up. When I see fives, I think about skip counting. We could skip count, and we could say five, 10, 15, 20. So if you know how to skip count by fives, that would be really easy. Or I notice that five plus five is a double, and five plus five equals 10. And I see another double, 5 plus 5 again, and 5 plus 5 equals 10. Now I just have to do 10 plus 10 equals 20. So finding the doubles can really help adding make it a lot faster to add your numbers instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would take a long time. This is a much faster way. Let's look at our next slide. I hope you guys are really enjoying this unit. I am really enjoying it. So look at this. We have, oh, this is the one we just did. All right, let's look here. So now we're going to show four groups of five and our repeated addition. This is the same that we just came up with. And then they're putting together five plus five. <clears throat> so you'll notice they have, there are two groups of five and then they have 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's exactly what we just went over. Hmm. Okay, now we have six groups of three. 
So if you would like to do this one on your whiteboard, go ahead and make six groups and three in each group. So we have one group, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we need a repeated addition sentence. Let's see what that would look like. There we go. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three equals 18. Now we can add this quicker if we use our doubles facts and we say, well, three plus three equals six, and this three plus three equals six, and this three plus three equals six. Then we just have to add six plus six plus six, or you could say six plus six equals 12, and then 12 plus 6 equals 18. Right here. 6 plus 6 equals 12. And then you just have one more 6. You just add that on. 12 plus 6 equals 18. Okay, let's look at this one. Five groups of two. That means that there's going to be two in each group. And that is one that we get to do together. So, let me get my whiteboard set up. Okay, so we have five groups of two. So I'm going to say one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. Now, you can do it like I just did, or if it's easier, if you know you have to have five groups, you could draw five big circles first, or five, and then go back in and draw two in each one. If that's easier for you, then that is a great way to do it, whichever way makes sense to you, okay? The result at the end will still be the same. So, we have two, 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 two. So our repeated addition would be two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Now, because we have the same number in each one, we can put two of the numbers together and make a doubles fact. So two plus two, well, that equals four. And then this two plus two, well, that equals four, two. And then we just have a single two left over, so then we would just say plus two. And you know what, friends? I see another double stack that I can make. Do you see the double stack? Look at this. Four plus four. What's four plus four? Eight. And then plus our two gives us 10. If you're really good at skip counting, you have to skip that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Right? These are just some different strategies that you can use. If you know the mental math and you know it in your head, that is always an option too. Okay, let's go back to our slide here. This is what your um, exit ticket is going to look like on your Google form. So it says to write a repeated addition equation to match the picture. So you're going to look and see how many are in each one, and you're going to write a repeated addition sentence. And then as you're solving, I want you to think about what doubles can I put together. Now. Also wanted to go over this question with you. 
Markers come in packs of two. If Jessie has six packs of markers, how many markers does she have in all? Draw groups to show Jessie's packs of markers. Then write a repeated addition equation to match your drawing. Group add-ins, that just means the numbers that you're adding, into pairs and add to find the total. So if it's saying that the markers come in packs of two, and there are six packs of markers. Six packs means that I would draw six circles to represent the packs. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it ran out of space. Six. I drew six circles, and those represent my packs. And how many markers are in each pack? Two. So in each of my circles, I would draw two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. In each of my circles. Now we have to use our repeated addition equation. So we have two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. And we're going to make this a little easier to add by adding two plus two equals four. And we have another two plus two, and that equals four. And we have another group of two plus two, and that equals four. I'm going to come out of this screen so you guys can see my board better. There we go. So we did our groups of two. We had six packs, and in each pack was two markers. And then we had two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Now look. Two twos. We can put that those doubles together to be four. We have another group of two doubles, and that's four. And another set of doubles, and that's four. Now I see another set of doubles that I can add. Four and four equals eight. Plus four. Eight plus four equals twelve. And twelve is the answer. She has twelve crayons all together. Okay. Now it's time for you to go and work on your Google form and make sure you read the questions so that you are not making any silly mistakes. And I can't wait to see your hard work. Bye, guys.